Just bear with me. So in this first video, you probably saw from the title, it's going to be my favorite Christmas movies. I love Christmas time. It's so interesting because I didn't actually like Christmas. Um, I was definitely an Ebenezer Scrooge. I think that's what his name is. Um, for a long time. And then I guess like when I got old. Like I loved Christmas when I was little. But like, like I don't know, as an adult, I'm like, uh, whatever. It's whatever. But ever since, like, I don't know, like, being in a relationship and just having more people around me, I really, like, enjoy Christmas. So, I'm, like, obsessed with it. I love decorating my house. I feel like when you have your own space, like, you just, like, get hyped and pumped. So, I love to decorate my house for Christmas. Um, that is going to be a video. Stay tuned for that one. But, um, yeah. So, right now, I'm just going to tell you guys my favorite Christmas movies. I love Christmas movies. I grew up on Christmas movies. Um, I just, I just, I don't know. Christmas movies are just different. Like, they're just like its own category, I feel like. So, let me get into my Christmas movie. So, my first, and this, okay, let me say this though. This is not a, like, an order or any type of thing. Like, my favorite to my least or my least to my favorite. is literally just, like, all my Christmas movies that I loved so much. So, I'm just wanting to share them pretty much with you all. My first one Definitely has to be Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. If you have not seen that as a child, it is a good movie. I used to actually always watch that movie actually on Christmas. Um, it was just something that me and my sister always loved to watch. So it's definitely a good movie. It's like, who ran over Grandma? Where is Santa Claus? Like, it's a really good movie. And I feel like it's a really good kids movie too. So starting off the list with a strong hitter, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Then starting off the list, it's like probably everybody's favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. If you don't know who at Home Alone is, then what are you doing with your life? Like, what? Home Alone is so, 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 so good. Everybody says that the second one is the best one, but I personally feel like the first one is the best one. And when I'm saying Home Alone, I mean the one with, what is his name? The original little boy. M M I cannot say his name. But how do you say his name? I, I, McLaughlin, something McLaughlin. Yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. The little boy that went like, ah! Yes, him. That is like with him, like he is, he makes the movie. And I know they make some new ones, but no. I want the ones with that little boy. So, cause he just sells it. He knows what he's doing. But definitely love that, Mina. Definitely love that movie. It's really, really good. I like the first one better than the second one. People like the second one better than the first one. And then, you know, if you have seen, like, TikTok, it's been all over the place. Like, he's not here. He's not here. He's not, like, so it's been all over the place. But, yeah. And if people don't know who I'm alone is, it's pretty much just, like, a little boy for Christmas gets stuck at home by himself while all his other family are, like, out um, on vacation for Christmas time. And these little burglars come and try to burglarize his house. And he's like, no, I'm gonna protect my house. So if you have not seen it, definitely watch it. But I feel like everybody has heard of it or has seen it. So if you have it, what are you doing? Now this one, this one is my movie, like my trilogy. I love this trilogy, The Santa Claus. Ah, my drop, The Santa Claus is so good. I favorite okay number three is like my least favorite i'm not gonna lie but number one number two is kind of hard because it's just so good so pretty much it's tim allen and he pretty much kills santa claus or whatever and now he is becoming santa claus so he's he's pretty much santa claus he don't want to be santa claus but like at the end like you know you got to be santa claus so it's just him like trying to figure that out and he has a son and his relationship with his son then we got to the second movie and they're like boo you gotta find a wife, and you know, it's just really good. Like, you just gotta watch it, like, honestly. Like, The Santa Claus is such a good trilogy. 
I love watching that during Christmas time. Like, honestly, I just really love it. And Tim Allen is so good at Santa Claus. And it's so interesting because it's always like, like, if you play Santa Claus and you a white man, you playing Santa Claus, it's like, you doing something. But also means like, like kind of old too. But anywho, like you're really doing something. If you can say, I play Santa Claus in my life. That's like Morgan Freeman saying, I play Jesus. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's something to say about that. I personally feel like so. How the Grinch stole Christmas. That is a must. It's so interesting because when I was little, I actually did not like that movie. I thought it was really, really scary. Cause I mean, Jim Carrey really embodied that and they even say that he started to become that character. But it's like real serious. Like he really embodied that character so well, so good. Love that movie. And I'm specifically talking about the Jim Carrey one, like the um, live action one. I know they came out with this new one. I don't really care about animation because like Jim Carrey really bodied that character and he really came for it. Like. If there was like an Oscars for like Christmas movies, he definitely would be getting best actor for that year because that movie was just so good. He really embodied that character. So I really like watching that movie. So I have to get into my little like black Christmas movie because you know, we had a few of them, we had a few of them. Stop. This Christmas, God is that is blazing blind. You know, I have to put this Christmas on my list it's such a, such a, such a good movie. This is like A-list cast, Lauren London, um, Loretta, I can never remember her last name, but you know, she plays every grandma. Or not grandma, but every mom. Um, literally, Idris Elba, baby! My husband, Chris Brown, like old Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Regina King was in it. Like, wait, you know, I get confused with the Regina. I don't know if it's Regina Hall or Regina King. You know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's just like, it's such a good movie. I just really love that movie. I feel like every black family loves that movie. It's just really good. It's pretty much just like a black family and they're coming together for the Christmas time. You know how, you know how families are when they get together. It's just, you know, a lot of stuff happens. So if you have not seen it, please watch it. And it's not just like a black movie. Like I feel like anybody, any family can understand it. It's just how families are during the Christmas time. Speaking of another one, Almost Christmas. Now this one doesn't really get, really get that much love, I personally feel like. It's not really as a well-known Christmas movie, but it's like a black Christmas movie. It's just like a pretty much an updated version of this Christmas. I think it's really, really good. Um, Monique is in it. Who else is in it? Uh, Gabrielle Union's in it. It's just a really good movie. So if you have not seen it, it's the same kind of concept, but a little bit different um, as this Christmas. So my next one, The Polar Express. Of course, I had to say The Polar Express. Like, it's just a good movie. Like, I don't know. It just gives me hope when I was a kid, like watching it, and it's just a different type of Christmas movie. I personally feel like it's like. It's just different like kids are getting on this train and experience Christmas the day before I just really really loved the um, Polar Express and just like the way that it made Christmas feel it was just a vibe honestly so now like um, I also have some ABC family movies they have came up with some good Christmas movies so Santa baby I love this movie it's with Jenny McCarthy literally so cute it's her dad and her like her dad is santa claus but he can't be santa claus for the for the for the christmas so she pretty much is coming home and is helping him super super cute i loved it loved it i actually watched it so many times as a kid they came out with a second one the second one is cute it's not like horrible but it, i mean it's cute um her love interest is different in the second one than in the first one. It's like Tori Spelling's husband in the second one, I think. But, I mean, he did an okay job, so. But I would've liked the first one, the first guy. But, super cute. It's like a different, like, vibe, I feel like, because we always see, like, a Santa Claus. Like, if we're doing a Santa Claus, we always see him, but we don't see, like, does Santa Claus have kids? Or what's about Mrs. Claus? I would love to see a movie about Mrs. Claus. So, I might should definitely make that. But um, yeah, so I think it's just a little different. We're hearing it from his child's point of view. The last day holiday. Now, some people might fight me and say that this is not a Christmas movie, but... This is your Christmas time. It has a lot of holiday feeling to it. So yeah. 
So pretty much this movie is with Queen Latifah. Um, she pretty much is told that she only has a few days left to live on Earth. So she's like, bada boom, bada bang, I'm gonna make the best of it. So she pretty much goes on a trip. And you know, we experienced that. I believe LL Cool J, I have made, I'm sorry y'all, like it's been a minute since I went and watched it. I think LL Cool J's in it, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, sorry. Super, super good. Um, it's not just about like, uh, like Santa Claus, things like that. So I think it's a really good movie. Y'all should watch it. Jack Frost! I love this movie. And people don't really talk about it. But it is a good movie. Like I'm trying to put y'all on some like on some game. Jack Frost is such a good movie. It's pretty much about a man who unfortunately dies, but he comes back in the form of a snowman. So he's pretty much trying to build back his relationship with his son. Super, super cute. I'm not gonna tell you the ending. Definitely if you can watch it or find it, please watch it. It is so cute. And I just, I, you know, like those are the kind of Christmas movie I like, like a spin or a twist to it, not just your typical kind of story. Definitely really, really cute. Jingle All The Way. Girl, you know that's not the name of that movie. It is called Jingle Jangle. Get it together, Zoe. So this came out, I think, last year or two years ago. It was really good. It's like a, it's like a Christmas musical, all black cast, super good. Um, who was in it? Felicia Rashad was in it. Um, Forrest Whitaker was in it. It's just, it's just honestly, it's just really cute. And it's this toy maker. Forrest Whitaker character is a toy maker, but then you know, um, this man steals his his inventions and becomes the biggest toy maker. And then um, he just doesn't. His toys are not making it like that. And then it comes to find out um, his granddaughter comes to live with him for a minute. It's like, granddaddy, you make great toys. But yeah, and it's just like a whole adventure and um, plot twists, a lot of plot twists. It's just really cute. It's on Netflix. It's actually a Netflix original. Um, I just I just think it's really cute. So y'all should just watch it, honestly. You know, I had to take it back. I had to take it back to a mother freaking Disney D the ultimate Christmas present. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The ultimate Christmas present. This is my movie. One of the best decoms ever. Ever. Brenda Songs is in it. You know Brenda Songs. She's just making all the decoms. Brenda Songs was in this one. It, pretty much, they find this snow globe. It's actually Santa Snow Globe. They steal it. And they pretty much give uh, snow in Los Angeles but you know things always go wrong you know with our little decom so if you have not seen it please watch it it's on Disney Plus so please it's such a good movie I definitely will like make my kids watch that movie like it's just really really good like I just enjoyed it as a child so please go watch it my girl Christina Milian be making that coin baby she be or literally put out so many Christmas movies I can't even put I can't even keep up but like, if Christina Milian is in a Christmas movie, I know it's gonna be good. Like I just, I just know it's going to be good. Like she's considered to me as one of those actresses that does Christmas. Like she is a Christmas actor. Like a, you know what I'm saying? Like Mariah Carey, she does Christmas. We already know that. Like it's no, it's no, no, no. Like Heidi Klum, she does Halloween. Christina Milian, she does Christmas. So any Christina Milian movie is gonna be good. Like Snow Globe, hella good movie. She gets stuck in a snow globe. It's just a good movie. Um, what was that? The Cup uh, Christmas Cupid. It gives us a, um, a spin on Ebenezer Scrooge. Like, she just came out with another one on Hallmark. I can't remember what that movie was called, but it was good. Like, definitely go watch Christina Milian when it comes to Christmas. She just does it. She really honestly just does it. The Preacher's Wife. Y'all thought I was going to forget about my girl Whitney? You thought wrong, because that's one of my favorite singers of all time. If you got something to say, I don't care. It's true. Cause where did Mariah get it from? She got it from Whitney. But yeah, the Christmas, uh, the preacher's uh, wife, my man, um, Denzel Washington is in the movie as the angel. Um, her husband is married to, God, I cannot remember his name and I feel so bad that I cannot remember his name. But I know he's married to Angela Bassett. That's the only thing I know. But yeah, um, the preacher's wife, 
very very good i feel like the preacher's wife started the the black um christmas movies i don't know if that's true or not don't quote me if i'm wrong but i feel like it kind of like became a thing from them so it's pretty much this angel helping this um the preacher with his family and his wife you know what i'm saying they have a church you know we get really good music whitney is just singing beautifully i Get me started but yeah it's a really good movie y'all should just watch it jingle all the way <laughs> coronavirus <laughs> coronavirus oh my god <laughs> jingle all the way such a good movie this had oh, i had to think about who the, this had sinbad and arnold schwarzenegger Ooh, I don't know if I said his name right. In the movie, pretty much like Arnold's character, like he wants to get his son this toy. Wait, let me find what the toy's name was. What was the toy? The Turbo Man. He's telling his son he's gonna get this Turbo Man toy. Like, but this toy is like how when um, Elmo came out. Hug Me Elmo or whatever. Um, Tickle Me Elmo came out. To the turbo toy. This toy like is nowhere to be found. They keep saying this toy is gonna show up. Like he's going on a hunt, I think in, in New York, for this toy. And same thing with Sinbad, it's kind of like a um, antagonist of the movie. But literally, it is so cute. One of my favorite movies I have to say of all time. Definitely a good one. You have to watch it. It's just so funny to watch him like go everywhere. Cause I feel like this is really how parents are. And like I feel like I would be like this as a child. Like my child tells me they want this for Christmas, we getting it for Christmas. Like the Wii, my mama knew like she was one of those parents on Christmas for the Wii to go. Maybe I should make that its own story. Well, I'll just say it. But yeah, she wanted the Wii, or I wanted the Wii. She stood out with my dad at the toy store, Toys R Us, to get this Wii for Christmas, okay? And we got it for Christmas. Love you, mommy. But yeah, so I just, I love this movie. It's just a really funny movie. It's just cute. Best Man Holiday, y'all thought I was gonna forget. It's so interesting because, like, Best Man, the Best Man was not, like, has anything to do with Christmas. But this one is just so good. And, like, this, this is, like, basically... If you haven't seen The Best Man, like you have to see The Best Man before you see The Best Man Holiday because like I can't explain it. It's like a bunch of friends and they pretty much come back to together after like they had a wedding. Somebody got married um, um, for the holiday season, but I can't say anything. Like it's really good. Like I actually did cry because it'll get you. I'm not gonna lie. It'll get you. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So definitely it's on my list. Now, this is like a rom-com. I was kind of debating if I wanted to put this in my list because is it Christmas? Because Christmas is happening. And I'm like, if I'm gonna put the last the last day holiday with um, Queen Latifah, I feel like I have to put this movie. It's actually just my favorite movie in general. One of my favorite movies in general. It has Sandra Bullock in it. It's pretty much, it's called While You Were Sleeping. Love this movie. It's pretty much of a woman who's obsessed with this man. She sees him every day when she gets on the train, honey. Or uh, well, she works at the train station. He falls into a coma. She comes to the hospital to see him, and pretty much his whole family thinks that she is his fiance. But he's in a coma, so it's just pretty much this whole spiel of like, girl, you keep lying to that family, thinking that you know what I'm saying. And he got a girlfriend. Like it's just a whole little mess. But in the end, it, there's a cute ending. So I'm not gonna tell you all, obviously. But it's really, really cute. If you have not seen it, please watch it. And my last movie. If I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry. But I'm trying to get through these because I know I have a long list and I know y'all are trying to watch a 30 minute movie, uh, 30 minute <laughs> video. My favorite movie of all time. Now this is actually my favorite movie. My favorite Christmas movie. And there is a reason why it is the best Christmas movie. Because TNT even knows it's the best Christmas movie. It's because it plays on Christmas the whole entire day. 24 hours this movie plays. Because it is the Christmas movie. Okay? It's the Christmas movie. A Christmas Story mic drop if you have not seen this movie please go watch this movie it is the best christmas movie ever okay ralphie 
wants that BB gun, mom. Ralphie wants the BB gun. It is pretty much about a family, um, and it's just this kid talking, or this man talking about his one of his only Christmas memory he can remember, um, a vivid one. And he wanted this, like, <laughs> he wanted this, what is it, a BB gun. His mom kept saying, you're not gonna get that BB gun, you're gonna shoot your eye out. And then it's just like, it's just pretty much during Christmas and what's going on. It's little things like they get a lamp that's like a leg. It's just cute. Somebody gets their tongue stuck on a pole. It's a really, really cute movie. Like you have to watch it. It comes, literally, you have an op, you have a chance to watch it because it comes on TNT every year and it plays the whole entire Christmas non-stop because it is the Christmas movie okay it is the Christmas movie I'm sorry it's so good you have to watch it and that's my list you guys like that is literally my list my Christmas movies if I missed a few I know I probably missed a few and then I'm thinking like I missed a few but um, that's what I pretty much can think of that are my favorite. Now, if I didn't mention your favorite, sorry, but definitely mention it down below. Comment your favorite um, Christmas movie. I might do this next year with some more movies. Um, definitely follow me on all of my social media platforms. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification so you can get more notifications on when I post videos. That is the first video of Vlogmas. I did it, yes. Now let's see if I can continue to do it. That's gonna be the real challenge. But yeah, so that's the first video of Vlogmas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye.